Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So in this video, we are going to do another small exercise. And this one is pretty straightforward. We are going to use the arithmetic operators and basically given a number. If the number is even, print the message, the number, and you use the number that was given to you before, is even. Otherwise, print the message, the number is odd. So pretty straightforward. Let's start it. Let's first create here another Java class, exercise, conditionals, zero, two, and press enter, and again, PSVM, press tab. I will copy the exercise description here, and I'm going to add it to on top of the class. Okay, so given a number, well, let's assume, since it's not like a uh, very specific here that the numbers are integers. Well, uh, int number and giving a number, so we can say 1250. And if this number is even, so how can we actually make sure that this number is even? Basically, for you to do that, you have to use the remainder operator. Uh, if the result of the remainder is zero, it's even, otherwise it's odd. The remainder operation uh, by two. So we can do it uh, by storing in a variable the result, or we can do directly into the if. I'm going to do inside the if, because I'm going to show you that you can do some things a little bit more complicated inside. So first, what's the thing that we have to do? We have to make sure that the number, whatever number it is, and if we use the division, get the remainder by two. First, we have to make sure that this is equals to zero. So can you see here that we actually have a compilation error? Why, why do we have a compilation error? Because remember, inside the if, the whatever you're going to use inside here, you need that the result is either true or false. But if you see the result of the remainder, it will be an integer. So you cannot use integer inside if because the required type, the result should be a Boolean. So what we have to do here, we have to do a comparison. So basically this will be evaluated and then we are going to make sure that this is equal to zero. So in this case, if you want to use parenthesis, then you have to make sure that uh, it's right here. If you take a look at this, we'll be evaluated first. So if we see this drawing, let's see how this looks like. So we have here, if number remainder by two equal equals zero. So let's see how this is working. Okay, so what's going to happen? First, this will be evaluated. So here we will have the result. In this case, it will be zero for the value we gave there. And then, Java is going to do another comparison. Basically, it would get then the comparison with the zero. So is zero equals zero, then this will result into a Boolean. In this case, true. So coming back, so we have number, reminder two, and then the result is equal to zero. If it is, I want to, I will copy this, the number, uh, the the number and then I need to give the number here so what is the number plus number plus because I have to go back to string is even else south press tab the number plus space here and plus number is odd so let's see control shift F10 so we have here uh, even, if we do this now, we get here the result is odd. So pretty straightforward, we achieved the, the result. Uh, if we want to do something like we did in the previous exercise and have only one salt uh, for the whole program, we can also do it. Okay, so I think this is it, pretty straightforward, but now you can see that you can do operations and then have to be careful because the result of this operation it must be 
in the end a boolean so if we remove here equals to zero this is going to be uh, is going to result in an integer and an integer cannot be evaluated inside the if so that's it i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye